All right, before we begin painting our mugs, I wanted to talk a little bit about all of the interesting things that you will find in your kit. Um, or if you don't have a kit, all the things that you're gonna need. The first off is that you need to cover your work surface. I am using a tablecloth that I really do not care what gets on it. You also need a pair of gloves. Alcohol ink is especially stainy and will never get off of your hands once you get them on or get it on there. So you definitely want gloves. We have some rubbing alcohol and our paint. We also have this little pot of Mod Podge. We're using dishwasher safe Mod Podge, but we're gonna put it off to the side because we won't need it. Along with that, we've got a large brush and we're actually not gonna need that either because we're gonna use both of these things just to seal our mug when we're done. Then you're gonna take your, or you also have a bunch of little felt squares. We're actually gonna use that to apply our ink. And we've got a little tiny ink or a little tiny brush, not an ink, this is a brush um, that we're gonna use to do any sort of detail work on our mug. We've got our paint palette and we've got our mug. We're gonna get started now, and I'm super, super excited. Every single mug looks a little bit different with alcohol ink, and I'm super excited to see what ours is gonna look like. All right, so before we begin, we're gonna suit up with rubber gloves. So I have my mug, I have my felt, I have my paintbrush, which I won't use quite yet, and I've got my colors. I'm actually gonna save the gold for very last, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. And one of the things that we have really discovered is that if you use all the colors at once, it will create kind of a brown. So we recommend being very careful with the number of colors that you use. We tried to create a palette that was really easy even if you did mix them up. But I think I'm gonna start tonight and I'm just gonna take my blue ink and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna add it to a one of the palettes. And so I didn't put all the ink in there just in case I need some more. And I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna dilute it. And by dilute it, what I mean is just add a few drops there. Then my base coat is gonna be blue. So I'm gonna start by taking one of these little felt squares and I'm just gonna start dabbing my ink mug, or my mug, my ink onto the mug. There are so many different things that you can do to work on these things, but this is just the technique we're showing. These mugs can be any, anything you want. Oh my goodness. Now, one of the really interesting things about alcohol ink is that we can actually apply rubbing alcohol directly to the surface if we want to see what that will do. So I'm gonna just put a little drop, little tiny drop. And notice that's gonna kind of create this crazy effect of water drops. And so then I'm just gonna manipulate the pigment so that I really like it. One of the things you'll notice that I'm doing is I'm staying away from the ridge of the mug. I don't really wanna get paint up there so that when you drink from this mug, you don't actually have to drink Mod Podge. Not that it will hurt you, because we will seal it, but we just wanna avoid that as much as possible. And you can do as many layers as you want. So I started with this kind of light blue. And if I wanted to make it a deeper color, I would just add an extra couple of drops that don't have as much alcohol in it. And continue to dab. Here's this really interesting thing. Alcohol ink is so much fun. Now that I have my lovely ocean of blue, I'm actually gonna put just a couple of drops on there. kind of let it create 
create a more bubbly effect. Not entirely sure where I'm going with this tonight. We'll have to see. But we're going to start with blue. You can either choose to paint the mug or not, or the handle or not. I think tonight I'm going to leave it for now. All right, now that I have this really interesting blue, I'm gonna try something that I've never really tried before. I'm gonna let it sit for just a couple minutes. Maybe even add a couple more drops of alcohol directly to the mug. And then, notice I'm just leaving this blue square in the blue so that I don't actually have to mix any of that. Then I'm going to take some of my red. Try to remember to put the cap on. I'm so messy. I see all of you artists out there who are just so immaculate in particular, and I'm so impressed with that. And this time, I'm just going to kind of roll this. I'm going to see if I can Create something of a rainbow. What I adore about these kits are that every time we do this, Anywhere we are, people's interpretations and visions and creations are so different and they are all so unique and wonderful. And it makes me really excited. All right, so I have a little bit of a red of a rainbow. And what comes next in a rainbow? Let's try some green. We'll see if we can Put a little green stamp on that. We'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna try to keep the green away from the red so that it doesn't overlap much because I'm afraid that that might turn it brown, but who knows? All right, so there's my green. And then I've got this purple over here. And I'm not watering down the colors that go over the blue, but you absolutely can. Different people use really interesting different techniques. We'll see how this goes. See if the purple looks more purple than the pink does. Oh, I am already loving this rainbow. Okay. And I think, oh, I, I have an idea. I'm actually gonna do the handle like this. Notice how inky my hands are. Can you imagine if I was not wearing gloves, how crazy that would be? Do a little blending there. All right. Okay, so I am loving this so far. And I really don't want to switch the colors up anymore because I just feel like this design has made me happy. I could add more rubbing alcohol if I wanted to, but I don't feel like that's necessary. I'm going to put those off to the side. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some gold. And anytime we add some metallic or alcohol ink, you can create some really neat effects by adding some fun details that are hard to do 
in any other color. So I'm going to shake the daylight, or I shook the daylights out of this little container, and then I'm going to put the gold ink on my little tray. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start adding really fine, fun details. I think I'm going to kind of paint the inside of this rainbow. See if I can create some, I don't know if the camera is picking this up, but oh my gosh, like this gold is just so beautiful. I'm so excited to see what you guys produce with your gold. What I adore about alcohol ink is it's one of those things that is really great for people like me who don't have a lot of patience, but it's also really fabulous for pretty, pretty awesome artists. They can really take time and I mean, some of the skill level that I've seen with people using alcohol ink is just so incredible. And what I love about it the most is that People like me, whose skill level isn't that high, can still create really, really beautiful things. One of the things you also see people do is sometimes they'll blow it, blow the ink so that it kind of wanders off in its own direction. There are so many interesting techniques and that's one of the ones that I think is very cool to watch. But tonight, we're just gently dabbing it on. And I think I'm gonna add quite a bit to the base of this. I'm also gonna there are a couple of places in this rainbow already that I can see that there isn't enough gold gold for me. It's kind of the gold is dissipated just enough. And I got to say, I want gold. So I will add more than one layer when that happens. And I think you should too. I'm running low on gold. So I'm going to Shake it again, make sure I've got plenty of gold in my pot. I really feel like this is one of those crafts that you guys are just going to have a blast doing. We were able to do this a couple of times in person before COVID started, and I'm really looking forward to a time when we get to do it again. Because this is super fun online, but it's also really fun in person. It's one of those crafts that just goes both ways so happily. Alcohol ink is so forgiving and so happy. And I really believe that in 2021, we're, we're due for some happy. So I expect lots of bright colors and parties. Every time I work with alcohol ink, I forget how much I just absolutely adore it. And I think I should be doing this every day. This is like the best meditation ever. Now I chose to do a pattern, but we really tried to make it so that you have plenty of colors to work with and you can do whatever you want. So it doesn't have to be a pattern at all. Some of these mugs that I've seen have really no rhyme or reason at all, and they are just absolutely stunning. So do not feel by any means that you should do a rainbow or anything that you see us do. Unless you want to. One of my favorite quotes is actually from Stravinsky, who's this comp or a classical composer that I studied a lot when I was in college. And the quote was that the, uh, the best musicians don't borrow, they steal. 
meaning that artists are constantly getting inspiration from each other, stealing each other's work. So if you want to do a rainbow, I am giving you all the permission that you need. I'm going to put just a little bit more gold. I'm going to try not to go too gold crazy, but it's just so pretty. Oh, I think this looks like a crack in the sky. The hardest part about this craft is that when you apply Mod Podge, you can't actually really use the mugs. It has to cure, so it's going to take a while. I believe three weeks, so once... So what we're going to do next, I think I'm coming to the end of this gorgeous mug. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ready to cry. I love this one so much. Thank you so much for joining me tonight in my barn, making this tutorial with you. All right, just a little bit more, or more gold and I'll stop, I promise. Unless I don't promise, unless I don't stop. And what's fun about alcohol ink is it can really be used on a whole bunch of surfaces. So if you wanted to make alcohol ink coasters, you can use tiles. If you wanted to, I've seen alcohol ink or clocks that are really, really just absolutely beautiful. That is on my list of things that I want to paint. I'd like to paint a clock one day soon. But just because we're using mugs doesn't mean that we have to stop there. Your imagination just can go absolutely wild. All right, now that I've painted my mug, I'm gonna do the hardest thing ever, and that is that I'm gonna put it down and just let it sit for about 24 hours. After 24 hours, what I'm gonna do is take my Mod Podge, and I'm gonna just brush a gentle layer on top of this mug. And then after that, I'm gonna let it sit for about three weeks. That'll make sure that the Mod Podge cures so that it is safe, or safe to drink out of. I'm gonna try to avoid the lip of the cup as much as I can, both with the ink as well as with the, or the Mod Podge. Now Mod Podge tells you that it's dishwasher safe, but I gotta say, I don't believe it. I think we should label all of these mugs hand wash only and be as gentle as we can with them because they are so beautiful and I would love to see your works of art last for as long as you want them to. Thank you so much for joining us for making alcohol ink mugs. I am so honored that you are here with us today. I cannot wait to see your creations and it would mean the world to us if you would post a picture, tag Moonlight Makes, it really helps us out. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. All of those things are just so, so useful for us. I cannot wait to see your mugs and I will see you next time.